Hello, kids. I'm Principal Prickly. As you've no doubt noticed, today is Halloween here at Third Street School. What better time to remind you of some nifty Halloween hits? One, consider this day an exciting opportunity to practice healthy nutrition. Two, wash your hands with an antibacterial soap after knocking on your neighbor's doors. Three, please be quiet. Four, Don't worry, it's me, Butch, and that was just a mask. Had you pretty scared, didn't I? Well, good, because that's what Halloween's all about. Getting dressed up, getting candy, and getting scared out of your wits. It's also about being careful. Some pretty scary stuff can happen when you don't watch your P's and Q's. Take this scary story, for example, of something that really, actually, truly happened. Bringing new meaning to the old saying that you are what you eat. Operator? Transatlantic operator? Get me Gothicshire foods. Yes, sir. I'll try ringing them. Please hurry. This is a snack chip emergency. Sorry, love, but their line is dead. Dead? But they just sent an order of chips that have never been tested. I can't sell chips that have never been tested. Um, I'll test them. Mmm, these are tasty. Very tasty. You better ring through again. I'm afraid something terrible might happen. Yeah. No! Kelso was attacked by a monster. I picked up the police bullets in on my cellular satellite array. Poor sweet Kelso. He's okay, Mikey. They've already downgraded his condition from scared stiff to spooked silly. However, his pyramid of canned yams will never recover. Oh, no. It's happening all over again. You know something about this, Gus? Only that when my dad was stationed in Gothicshire, England, a monster was attacking shopkeepers all over the city. I got so scared, I slept with a torch. That's Brit Talk for Flashlight. Well, you won't need a torch with us around, Gus. Gretch, you got Galileo with you? Does the quadratic formula got a square root? That, I do not know. What I do know is this. We've got a monster to find. Indeed, Gretchen, there is a similarity between the Gothicshire monster and the attack on your Mr. Kelso. After several attacks on corner markets, Scotland Yard captured the Gothicshire monster and locked him in a cage suspended above a vat of sulfuric acid. But the next day, it had transformed into a man. Whoa! So they had to let him go. Hey, Teach, that's just like that episode of Monster Hunter P.I., the thing that turned into a man. Right. And if I know my American history, our monster must have some kind of transforming potion. Or something edible. A salty snack food, for example. In fact, it's imperative that you all be on the lookout. Come on, Froggy, spill! Before I croak you! Yeah, Zooks, I'm afraid Galileo's batteries have run down. What bad, bad, creepy, unlikely timing. What was that? <laughs> Hello, chums. Randall! Where do you get off calling us chums? We uncursed humans are all chums when there's a monster stalking the school. Stalking the school? Could it be? That's what I hear. Seems Kelso came out of his heebie-jeebies long enough in the hospital this morning to say the monster who attacked him was a student from our school. But, but, that's a terrifying development. Who could it be? I don't know. I just say we stick together and keep an eye out. Hey, courtship girl, where are you going? Cafeteria. I'm helping out today. Well, be careful. There's a monster prawn around school. I know. I know. You want to add chips to our menu? They taste very good. Kids will be wolfing them down. Look, girly, if we wanted kids eating food that tasted good, we'd retire. <laughs> um, I'm afraid I can't take no for an answer. Battery installation is complete, and Galileo's now fully operational. Turn them on, Gretch, fast. <laughs> Oh, hello, Gretchen. I guess I dozed off. No time for pleasantries, Galileo. You were about to tell us the secret of the monster's transformation. Oh, dear me. As I was saying, you must all be on the lookout for... Here, Mikey. Mmm, English crisps with new spicy wolfbane flavor. Mikey, no! <laughs> but, TJ, why did you jostle me? It's those chips, Mikey. They're the ones that turn people A into... A monster? <laughs> One for your ever-loving life! in the halls and no ripping off these doors well everyone i surmise we found our monster and i say we should go after it huh? guys there comes a time in every nine-year-old's life when he's gotta face his monsters meet me at the roof access ladder in five minutes 
Look, the uh, monster's prints end at the access ladder. How'd Gus know? Elementary, my dear Spinelli. What'd he call me? As you may recall from the Monster Hunter P.I. season finale, monsters on the rooftop, hairy, transforming, English-style monsters always hide on the roof. Spiffy threads, Gus. Indeed. Now let's put an end to this madness. Hold on there, governor. Me and me mates here would like to lend a hand. That monster spilled our blooming lunch. Glad for the hope, Cockney kid. Now half of you come with me. The rest cover the playground. Dash it. A fog seems to be rolling in. Beast behind that chimney! After her, guys! <laughs> okay, monster, time to cash in your chips. <laughs> it's me in here, Gus. Help me. <laughs> Monster, this one's for Mr. Kelso. Thank you, Mikey Man. Gee, Gus, how'd you know that would work? Classic monster physics, Spinelli. Fear of falling will return any transmogrified monster to its normal state. I first stumbled upon the idea about halfway up the ladder when I noticed how perilously high we were climbing. Adding in the fact that I knew Mikey had gotten into position, and he's never once yet dropped a falling human. I knew I couldn't go wrong. How are you feeling, Corn Chip? Much better, thanks to you guys and this cocoa. Good news. We've rounded up all the bags of ye old crisps. Please, put them where they'll never do harm to anyone again. You heard her, Vince. Roof them. <sighs> well, guys, chalk this up as a victory for our very own Monster Hunter. Gee, I'm just glad we never have to worry about scary creatures ever again. Ooh, potato chips! Yum! And you thought them kindergartners was cranky when they missed your nap. I'm gonna take a break now so you kids can shake off your big old case of the willies. Then, oh, then I'll be back. I expect you'll be back too, unless you're chicken. So I see it came back for more real life terrifying tales that positively, absolutely, definitely really happened. I respect that in a kid, which is funny, because this next story is about just that respect and what happens when there just ain't enough of it. There you go, dear Pegasus. Now, when children hear your jolly sound, they'll always know it's you. Ah. Uh such a pity I have to go inside and leave you here. And on such a glorious day as this. Huh? Oh no, Thunder! We better get inside! But, but, what about my Pegasus? Don't worry about it. It's just a fight. Yeah, they live to be outside. Whereas we should take shelter from this eerily sudden and unexpected storm. Farewell, Pegasus. May your rest prove pain prove worthy. Oh, Pegasus, your voice so tender is the ace neath your fender. It's a bike, for Pete's sake. Whom do I prefer to canoe, plane, zeppelin, or bus? None other than you, thou sweet-tempered Pegasus. Thank you, Third Street. Thank you, Mikey. And might I say it was truly far out how you attributed a human soul to an inanimate object. Hark, the pleasing sound my cherished Pegasus makes when I'm riding it. Except I'm not riding it. Who in blazes put this confabbing thing here? I didn't do nothing. Pegasus, how did you get here? So this is your bike, eh, Blumberg? You know bikes aren't allowed indoors. Take it back outside where it belongs. This is very strange. I know I didn't leave Pegasus inside. There must be some logical explanation as to how it got here. I know. Pegasus wanted to be near me. Mikey, we got news about your bike. It's a bike! Huh? Hey, it's rolling by itself. That's odd. It's impossible for a bike to stay balanced without a rider. That's odder and even more impossible. Unless it's alive. Alive? Oh, jolly Pegasus, I knew you had a soul. Don't be afraid, little fella. Pegasus? Uh, I don't think it's afraid anymore. Run! <laughs> Miss Finster! Miss Finster! <sighs> I'm flummoxed. This defies all known laws of physics. Oh, Pegasus, 
Jesus, what have I done to incur your wrath and betrayal? Don't blame yourself, Mikey. Some bikes are just born bad. And what are you people doing here? Mikey's bike is on a rampage! I see. Oh no, the bike cut the power! Don't worry, he's still gotta find us. The window, Jimmy! Come on! But that's not the proper operation of a window, Jimmy! Here! The supply closet! Go, go, go! We can't keep running forever! Well, I could, but you guys can't. Guys, what do bikes fear most? The internal combustion engine? A sissy bar? A bicycle built for two? Worse, flat tires. No, TJ, I won't let you. Sorry, Maiko. It's the only way. Are you sure you're up to chaining this thing? Oh, yeah. Takes me back to my old 18 wheeling days. It's prickly. It's Finster. It's showtime. This is exactly why kids shouldn't bring bikes to school. Hold on. Ah! Hey, dirt bike. Think you can ace the tour de Vince? come to life, but my dream became a two-wheeled nightmare. Hush, save your strength. The tires, they're re-inflating! Attention, attention, evacuate the school. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Ah! Pegasus is still after us! I'm on it, boy. You were right, sir. That Sal 4000 sure does come in handy. Welcome to your new prison, you three-speed pile of junk. Farewell, sweet Pegasus. Please understand that I loved you, as no boy has ever loved a bike. But you are naughty, and so I'm glad you're imprisoned and can never hurt anyone again. Gosh, the ranger makes it dark. Hmm, that's better. Oh, no. F2 red rockets? Bike. Bike. Maybe we're done for, guys. But you gotta admit, our bikes came to life. And that's pretty cool. Yeah! We're saved! Let's go, let's go, let's go! The entire school on one vehicle? But but that's far above the state-mandated maximum number of... Move it, Minlow! About time the cavalry showed up. Let's hear it for the bus driver! Yeah! What do you say, Bertha? Bertha? Uh-oh. So let that be a lesson to you. Bikes and school buses got feelings, too. Treat them right. And if you know what's good for you, don't leave them out in the rain. Ah, there's nothing more harmless and wholesome than a playground during recess. Boo! <laughs> good one, happy little kid. But did you ever wonder what happens around this joint when the sun goes down? If you're smart, you won't stick around to find out. Or you just might find yourself falling down a dark, black hole of spookiness with no way out. Hey, Gus, you gotta stop playing with that tank and give it back to Milton. Oh, I know, Teed, but it's the Haunted Pumpkinhead Brigade. They struck terror into the enemy and knocked down the Berlin Wall. Unless you believe those history books. Gus, you pinky swore Milton that you'd give it back by recess. You'd never go back on a pinky swear. It's bad luck. I know, but... No supernatural military toys on the playground, Griswold. Hand it over. But it's not mine. It's Milton. That's your problem, not mine. Hey, my tank! Thanks a lot for breaking your pinky swear, Gus. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Boy, that really was bad luck. Ah! Now what? Ah! Wump and whales are worry. What's dog in the diggers? Maybe they were simply exclaiming with joy at having dug very deep. Oh, no. What if they found a skeleton? I bet they found a skeleton. It's all my fault. Hey, hey, 
Hey, buddy, relax. It's okay. It takes a lot more than breaking a pinky sword to bring skeletons around school. Oh, yeah? If you're so sure nothing scary's in that hole, then how's about this? I dare you to climb down into it. You're on. Well, good, because I wasn't finished. You got to climb into that hole at night and stay in it all alone and by yourself for all night long. Ha <laughs> ha! Walk away, Vince. It's crazy talk. We won't blame you. But he dared me. <sighs> okay, here we go. The digger's hole. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Wow. Those diggers sure have been busy. This isn't so bad. Kind of cozy, in fact. I'll just hang out here till sunrise and Lawson will feel like a big, fat... Yeah! Hello. What are you guys doing here? Well, Vince, you're our buddy. And you know what I always say? A buddy never lets a buddy sneak out without telling his parents, climb down into a dark, creepy hole at night, and stay there by himself. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. You guys can't be here. Lawson dared me to come here alone, by myself. Having you guys here... It's like cheating. You never cheat on a dare. Oops. Tell me cheating on a dare is a worse luck than breaking a pinky swear. It's way worse. <laughs> Why, it looks like the old gate from a picturesque country graveyard. Dad, Zooks, we've uncovered the ancient Finster burial ground. The what? Who what? It's the final resting place for Finsters from throughout the ages. It was rumored to have been buried right here under our playground. <gasps> Miscreants! Miscreants! Ah! Run! Ah! Oh, ah! 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 A trap door! We're free! Yeah! Ah! We're in the cafeteria! Surprise, Vince. Left over from lunch. There's enough acid in it to melt an entire village full of zombies. Poor dumb ghastly freaks. They never knew it hit them. Guys, I think it's morning. Uh, uh, uh. Confounded food fights. are funny. We're filling it in because we're done with it. We're gonna start a new one over there. You didn't see any zombies? But yesterday you ran out of here screaming! Oh yeah, Dave busted Dad's best shovel digging in Tunnel 9. He was pretty mad when we got home. Talk about your scary encounters. It did happen, didn't it? There were zombies, weren't there? Maybe children really shouldn't accept crazy dares and sneak out without their parents' knowledge and climb into deep holes in the middle of the night. Maybe it's just too scary. Fear does strange things to the human mind. Perhaps, my friends, perhaps we imagined it all. So, there you have it. Three tales of terror that completely actually happened. Or, at least that's what they tell me. And I believe them. Sort of. I mean, after all, they were scary, weren't they? And, and, and what kind of person would make up stuff just to scare kids? Maybe me? Yes, don't do nothing dumb, because you just never know what weird stuff is going to happen. Happy Halloween. <laughs> 